After you escaped, he should have accepted his losses and evacuated Trinity. But that would have prevented this extraordinary opportunity that now exists before us. Trinity is held in the Anomalium, which is in this transmission tower. The passages used to rescue Neo are now sealed, and a legion of sentinels patrols the tower. As long as we raise no alarm, this first part of the mission should be the easiest. You mean crossing the fetus fields, sneaking across an entire power plant, climbing a two-kilometer tower guarded by thousands of sentinels? That's the easy part? Exactly so. Because all we have to do is convince someone who does this every day to take one of us along. Three meters below the anomalium is a stratum of amniotic filters. Hidden along this edge is a small hexagonal vent. This vent feeds the air intake into the corpuscular modifier, which oxygenates the biogel used in Neo's pod. In order to unplug Trinity's body while her mind still remains connected to the Matrix, I'm gonna need a second human brain to implement the bypass. And since the only available mind that's a near enough match is yours. Does Trinity still have to take the red pill? Since Kujaku and I are transferring her consciousness onto the ship, it's not strictly necessary. But what matters is that this is her choice. I get it. What could go wrong? Won't the analyst just order the Sentinels to stop you? He will. But if my plan works, it won't matter. Why? Because we'll already be gone.